Many who contributed to the New South Wales Curriculum Review called for a more flexible curriculum that would give teachers greater control over what they teach, when and how long they spend teaching it. This was seen by many as essential to ensuring that every student is engaged and learning successfully. A key to every student achieving high standards is to ensure that throughout their schooling, each student is provided with learning opportunities at an appropriate level of challenge. A student is unlikely to learn successfully if taught what they already know, or if they're under-challenged by material well within their comfort zone. They're also unlikely to learn successfully if they're over-challenged, that is, not yet ready to learn, because they lack the necessary prior knowledge. Currently, in many classrooms, the most advanced 10% of students are about five to six years ahead of the least advanced 10%. This variability is not found in every classroom, but it is found in many. This is important because, when teachers are expected to teach the same syllabus content to all students and to assess and grade each student on that content, there is a risk of some students being under-challenged and others being over-challenged. Many teachers say they need more flexibility in the curriculum to address each student's current level of attainment and learning needs. A way of providing greater flexibility is to develop a sequence of attainment levels in a subject through which every student progresses during their time at school. Each syllabus then corresponds to a particular attainment level rather than a particular year of school. This way, a teacher can establish the level a student is working at and target their teaching accordingly, with the possibility of different students in the same year of school being at different levels. This gives parents and students a better understanding of where individuals are in their learning, to decide next steps and to monitor progress or growth over time. If one of these attainment levels is identified as the standard all students reach by the end of their schooling, then teachers have a basis for monitoring whether individuals are on track to meet that standard. The objective in restructuring the curriculum is to provide teachers with flexibility to meet students where they are, to ensure no student is under or over-challenged by learning expectations based solely on their year of school.